as is often the case with my match day vlogs on a Champions League day, uh, the day starts quite early, one o'clock kickoff actually today for the under 19 to UEFA Youth League game between City and Young Boys in Switzerland. And at the moment, with uh, just under 10 minutes or so to go, City are leading by three goals to nil. Now, my match day vlogs centre on people who attend games, of course. Um, and there are lots of people tonight who won't come along, who are regulars at Premier League games and, and watch a lot of City games. Lots of reasons for that. It can be the cost, it can be work commitments, and it can even be that some people don't like the Champions League as much as the Premier League. But I can't ask those people who are not here tonight about their feelings of the Champions League, but I can ask those who are here, who generally, I suppose, will be the ones who really like the Champions League, like, of course, I do. So let's see who I bump into today and see whether the first team tonight can be as thorough and as comprehensive and as professional as this youth team is. Because they're a very good team, there are some very good young players coming through. One that I picked out tonight, uh, or this afternoon I should say, is Josh Adam. But there's so many out there that, uh, that look very, very promising. Anyway, let's see who I meet on match day. City against Swiss team young boys. Well, I'm from North Carolina in the United States um, and I've been following City uh, since 2002 but really seriously since 2006 this Finn year was when I really it took over because it was like I don't know uh, some bright sunshine in a, a dark era I guess um, and I'm here every time I come to Europe I try to come by and see City it's difficult to get here obviously it's an ocean away uh, I've been coming for, for many years but not since before COVID before Manchester and uh, the club gave me a, a, a one pound ticket to the academy and I had never seen the stadium today so I wanted to come by and see the young lads and, and, and see the stadium too. So um, I'm here for the Champions League. I went to the Bournemouth game, sitting in the South Stand both, game, both games. So I, I like it a little bit loud over there and um, I don't know, it's my, my, my first uh, Manchester game in quite a while and so I always enjoy coming here and meeting the people supporting the club. So I'm going to ask people tonight whether the Champions League, now that City have won it, means as much. And there will be some passionate City fans who are not here tonight, who normally come for various reasons. Is what, What's your view of the Champions League? So I, uh, I don't know how it is for... I, I'm not a legacy fan because I didn't grow up here, but I've been supporting the club for 21 years. But I would rather win the win the league than the Champions League. It doesn't matter. Even last year, when we had a, when we were in the FA Cup final, I went to both matches. I went to the FA Cup final and I went to the Champions League without having a ticket to either one of them. I got in. It was a challenge there, but winning winning the winning the cup even over United was more important to me than winning the Champions League. Or at least I felt that way until Rodri Screamer went in, and then maybe I felt a little different. The uh, three-hour walk uh, back to Istanbul kind of maybe changed my opinion a little bit on that too. A little more suffering for that game, but. I, I certainly think the league games are more important. There's the more Premier of a vibe. League, oh, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. The Premier League, not the Champions League. Um, I, I have quit booing the anthem when it comes on now. I, I don't know if uh, maybe because we've won it, maybe we shouldn't boo it. But uh, other than that, no, the league is way more important. I, I, it, it's the first thing every year at the start of the year. The most important pot to win is the league, for sure. Enjoy your trip. Thank you. It's good to see you. Champions League to me doesn't mean very much, to be quite honest. I mean... For a club like us, and I mean, I've been supporting them 64 years last weekend. Um, being in the Premier League is everything, winning that trophy. And if we can win it four years on the trot, nobody's ever done that, which is fantastic. You know, that'll tonight, keep all the United. I'm bringing a friend of mine from from York, South Yorkshire, Paul. He's um, ex-editor uh, of the Rotherham Advertiser, and we're both ex-journalists. And uh, I promised him for a few years I'd bring him to watch a City game. And tonight's the night. So, uh, football education. He's a big Sheffield Wednesday fan. Well, he's the Sheffield Wednesday fan. <laughs> he's the only one they've got, I believe. <laughs> so, what do you expect from a game like this? Because you're a neutral. Well, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's uh, it's going to be a bit of an eye opener for me because we're used to slumming it at the bottom of the Championship at the moment. So, this is a little bit different. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's the quality of the football, though, isn't it? And, and I've heard a lot of people say that. Pep's influence on football generally is that all down the leagues people are trying to play out from the back and play the Pep way. Mm. Is that happening at Sheffield Wednesday? It has been, yeah, and it's appalling because if you've got players of the calibre of City, then yeah, you can do it. If you've got the players of the calibre of our lot, 
he gets a bit tricky. And uh, when they try to play out from the back, you kind of hold your head in your hands. Uh, it's, it doesn't work. And I've seen teams lower, even lower down than we are, which is pretty low, um, trying to do it and it doesn't work. But to watch a good team play out from the back when they're pulling people around and creating the space and the openings, it's great to watch. Every competition is important. However, a lot of City fans, because of the way UEFA, the perceived perceived way UEFA has treated them, they're not UEFA friendly. That's not, not Champions League friendly, not UEFA friendly. Yeah, but said that, City have got 115 charges from the Premier League. So it why, why do City fans want to be in the Premier it League did. but not the Champions yeah, League? Th those are charges that we all know. When, it, when the final analysis, there'll be nothing there at all. As there wasn't, I mean, remember UEFA banned us for two years? Then it took a court of arbitration to say, on your bike, son, we have a biz been treated abysmally by them all. There is this, it's almost like a red mafia to me, that where City are concerned, get at them, get on them. I remember a game, a number of years ago, a European game, where the goal that was scored was quite exceptional because David Silva did something nobody could ever believe he could do, and it led to a goal. They went back. VAR to deep into our half to see if I'm right before had fouled a player when he headed the ball forward four moves earlier. That's what a lot of City fans perceive with UEFA. And Champions League was always a monkey on our back which isn't there anymore. But once we get out of the knockout stages, once it, the real business starts, those fans will want to come back and will come back. Think back to Barcelona, think back to Bayern, all those people were here. This particular phase goes in and out. And, and of course, who are we playing? You know, there's still the, well, there are only a bunch of young lads, we'll soon knock them off. But the, the group stages have never been fully supported. And we all have a choice. But well, you're here tonight. Yeah, yeah. Brought the granddaughter, who's run off because she saw a camera. Um, and it's our little treat for her. She's done well in her masters, so she gets a treat. What do you think of the Champions League? I'm not bothered now because we've won it once, so we've won everything now. So you're really not that bothered tonight? No, I can't care less. But you're still here? I'm still here, yeah, but I'm not bothered if we if we didn't make the knockout stages now because we won it all so there's nothing else for us to achieve really well, it means quite a lot because obviously we need to uh, carry on our european adventure we need to carry on uh, our european heritage we need to win it again because united won it twice we need to win it twice as well um or they won it three times i'm not sure but we need to equal them and then the real legacy is there to beat uh, to be them Nice to do it at Wembley as well, wouldn't it? At Wembley, that'd be absolutely fantastic, yeah. Yeah, absolutely superb. Oh, I think for kudos, I think the Champions League, I really do. Because where this football club have been for a decade now, you know, Champions League is, I think, where we'll be measured on. Um, yes, the Premier League is fantastic. Um, you know, it's four on the trot, which will be five out of six if we were to do it this year. Um, so yeah, we've crossed that bridge, and now we've won, won the Champions League. We want to go and do it again because I just think the, the manager, I think the football club, I think the squad, I think everything about Manchester City should be two, three, four Champions Leagues within the next maybe eight to ten years. And winning it at Wembley would be lovely, wouldn't it? It would be fantastic. Yeah, you know, qualify, get through, then. This is knockout competition and it's difficult. We went the hard way last year and I, I went out and said, bring on Bayern, bring on Real Madrid. Don't take the easy path there. Um, we got that and the, the, the team were phenomenal. So um, there's no reason why we can't do it again, one game at a time.
two good goals, great game, uh, great fans as well from them, so it's nice to see some, uh, some decent European fans again, uh, yeah, good game. Fairly comfortable, I noticed on there that Foden was uh, 100 quid if he stinked, I don't know how much that is, 3-0. Could easily happen, couldn't it? I said 3-0 originally, but I'm actually thinking 4-5 now, actually, now we've started like that. So, especially looking after uh, the weekend's game, look like we sort of settled down, let them in. It feels like we're, we're more attacking, we want, to, we want to score more goals now, so I feel like we should come back in the second half, score more goals. Haaland's hungry, he's going to score more. But uh, I don't think they were a much uh, opposition, really. But, you know, they through to the last 16 of the Champions League, which yeah, yeah. takes all the pressure off now. Yeah, yeah. Good. Good, I enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. I think they, they got away with a lot tonight. She had quite a few yellow cards and he was too soft. He'd been a bit firmer. I don't think we'd have fouls we had. Otherwise, it would have a good game. That's exactly what Pep wanted, wasn't it? It's sort of comfortable progression to the last 16. Well, what more could we ask? I mean, the game would have been dead, really, weren't it? There weren't very much atmosphere. Uh, South Stand was very quiet tonight. Their fans are entertaining. Well, yeah, their fans were quite funny. Who let the minions in? That's what I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, qualified, it's done, isn't it? You know, you're in a way European follower. <coughs> you know what it takes to get to these games. Great support from them, to be fair, wasn't it? Yeah, very much so. We thought the, the bottom tier was empty at first, but then they must have been the ultras or something. They all come in then and started dancing up and down. So, yeah, they're like mother fun. They've just been beaten badly, so never mind. They can go home now with a tail between the legs, can't they? <laughs> I mean, what can we say that hasn't already been said about this team? It's just, it's amazing every time they play. It's so dominant. It's so attractive football it's just amazing i mean harland for that second goal in the second half was he wasn't even looking at the goal he just hit it and it was perfect and it flew straight in and the entire team today for the one was brilliant jack was brilliant Duncan when he came on was brilliant again uh, even the young lads oscar bob lewis they all put in such a shift uh, i mean it's looking likely that we'll do back to back in this tournament but yeah uh, amazing what can we say that hasn't been said come on city and whatever team he picks it's the, it's the team it's the system that's the winner really more than the players almost it, it is yeah i mean you hear them singing it all the time all of us around the stadium we've got guardiola and it'll be such a task to replace him when he's gone but yeah uh for now we'll enjoy it while it lasts we're creating this dna of football of how we like to play dominating the ball just being the team on top, no matter who we play, whether it's a team in League 2 or if it's the Galacticos themselves, we just look like we're going to win every single time and it's amazing. I just thought we were amazing as per, you know, domination in Europe. It's starting to become a bit of a norm now, isn't it? Just like, you know, a few years ago when we first started, we're always zero points, one point embarrassment because of all the money, but now it's domination every time, you'll see it. Yeah, I've played well now, really, to be fair. What is it that makes this City team so magic then? Usually I said Rodri, <laughs> but uh, we did well without him tonight, so uh, yeah. Not we on top all the way through the game, completely outplayed them, I can't remember. I just am making a save at all throughout the whole game, comfortable. It's been a really comfortable progression through this group, hasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Still two yeah. games to go. Yeah, Leipzig is going to be the game. So to win the group. To yeah, yeah, exactly. I thought it was very easy, straightforward. Unbelievable goal from Haaland for the second. I don't know how you strike a ball like that across the body. And Foden's goal is exceptional as well. And I thought we didn't get our second gear. We didn't need to again for probably a third or fourth game on the bounce. So bring on the knockout stages. And a relaxing game to watch really, wasn't it? By City standards, very relaxing. I don't remember them having a shot, to be honest. Never mind a shot on target. So yeah, it's very straightforward. Very happy. What did you think? Very straightforward. I mean, we missed a few chances, didn't we? Or maybe they made some good saves, but uh, could have had three or four more. But yeah, very one-sided. Yeah, good win. Job done.
As a football fan myself, I can only say hats off to those Swiss fans who've come over here to Manchester to support their team despite the defeat today. I, of course, do it the other way around when I go. I was in Switzerland three weeks ago, so I wish them a successful and safe homeward journey. As far as City are concerned, the job is indeed done through to the last 16 of the Champions League. The champions are into the next stage of the competition. Thanks very much to motoringoffencelawyers.com, to Timson and to RRG Group for their support and to everybody who takes part in the vlogs. I've got a couple of great videos coming up in the next international break celebrating the 300th edition and last sadly of King of the Kipax, the long-standing City fanzine. Also meet uh, the head of one of the departments of City in the community and find out what they do and there's a new Manchester City book out as well and I'll tell you all about that but before that a trip to Chelsea on Sunday. I'll be down there at Stamford Bridge of course if you're going down please say hello. In the meantime have a listen to the uh, last audio podcast we did as well follow me on x twitter whatever you want to call it and you get all the links thanks very much for watching isn't it great to be a blue